Video analytics is a very broad spectrum. We're really concentrating very much on the video side of it. And what we're trying to do is extract relevance from video, contextualization from video, as well as making video available in a useful format in a control room environment. The issue with video is that there is a vast amount of it. Uh, we're generating out of, for example, a thousand cameras, hundreds and thousands of hours of raw video on a weekly or even daily basis, depending on the side of it. A human cannot watch that amount of video. In fact, research done in the US says that a single controller can watch one video for 15 minutes before not being able to gain any useful insight into that video. The iSentry system is designed to be very, very quick. We actually do our initial analysis on quite low res video as it allows us from pixel analysis to come up with an alert very quickly. And we're talking milliseconds until we generate an alert. Obviously, that depends how fast the video gets to us. Uh, we will classify and send that to an alert stack in under 100 milliseconds from there. We are applying machine learning in a variety of forms, mixed in computer vision, to analyze a scene. The scene is taken from scratch. We have no preconditioned idea of what it is. And we start to learn everything that moves within it. We start to understand their interactions, the directions, speed, size, and a variety of other aspects. Once we understand this, we can understand very quickly what an anomaly is. And from there, we need to run further layers. Deep learning or convolutional neural networks are a pretty simple way of then classifying objects within it and adding further layers of contextualization. We're trying to go across the stack from a surveillance perspective, so we need a world-class BMX. If you can't manage your video effectively, you don't have a solution. Once we've done that, we're trying to provide the tools to actually operate in a live environment. iSentry is designed to deal with complex, fast-moving live video environments and giving real-time alerting in those environments. And this is super important uh, when we talk about uh, managing high-risk areas, public spaces, or whatever else we might be dealing with. We can do really accurate rules and classifications, but what do we do about the unknown? What do we do about the scenario where we don't know? How do we, how do, we do really difficult, complex scenes with rules? And we don't believe that's possible. So really for us, it's a combination of technology, not one piece of technology, but it's a holy grail.